Hey what's going on guys and in today's video I will show you how to set up a DLNS server so you can stream different media content like pictures, movies, videos and music across different devices. Uh, for example a DLNA capable smart TV. So this comes in very handy because you don't have to copy anything onto a USB drive or a hard drive whenever you want to watch something on your smart TV. You can directly stream content from your PC to the uh, smart TV. So let's begin. Alright guys, so on your computer you'll need to go to this website and we'll download the software called LG SmartShare. Scroll down, click over here to expand and select this option download for Windows. And this also works on laptops so don't worry if you have a laptop uh, you can use this easily. So now we wait for the program to download. Oh and by the way guys if you're connected to the Wi-Fi network go ahead disconnect your computer from the Wi-Fi network and connect it to the wired network because uh, 4K streaming does not work so well on wireless. So you'll so both of the devices including your TV and your streaming computer needs to be connected to uh, uh, the uh, wired network at your home. Uh, that is your LAN network. So here you can see the download has finished and if you can't find the file it's usually in the downloads folder so let's go to downloads here you can see the SmartShare application is there so we're gonna extract this I'm going to extract this on my desktop so extract to now we can go ahead and run the application double click on the setup file to start the installation just click on next leave everything default alright so it's telling me that folders under music pictures and video libraries are set as default so I think it is telling me that this music, pictures, and video folder is automatically shared. So you can change that. Uh, you can change that right now, but I'm going to change that later on if I want to. And that's all you need to do. And now we wait for the application to launch automatically. Uh, you should see it appear on the taskbar. There you can see the SmartShare application is running. Right click on it and open SmartShare settings. We need to make sure that the sharing service is running. So right now it is turning on. Alright so the sharing service is turned on and here you can see which, uh, which folders are shared. So now you can go ahead and add your content to these folders. So if you have any videos, movies, uh, TV shows, you can go ahead and paste them over here and they'll automatically show up on your smart TV. You want to share pictures, add some pictures over here. You want to listen to some music uh, on your hi-fi system, you can add the music over here. And really that's all you need to do. And whenever you add more content, just click on refresh and then click on OK and that's all you need to do on your computer oh and one thing I forgot we need to change the default name uh, so go to my device setting and here you can see the default name is LGPC administrator so we're gonna change that to media server click on apply then click on OK now let's go ahead and test this out shall we Alright guys, so here we are. You can see the TV is connected to the local area network through the Ethernet. I, again, I have not connected the Wi-Fi network because on Wi-Fi the video streaming is not perfect. So this, you can see this is an LG TV and on the remote you need to tap this button to access the network resource. So tap on this recent button and go to photo and video. And here you'll see this media server that we just created. Uh, I have two media servers on my network, so this is the second one. 
uh, this is the one we just created you can see we just renamed it to media server so select this and here you can see the different folders that exist on the PC so select on all folders you need to see a video so here are our videos so let me play a video you can see it works no problem it seeks also without a problem there is no frame drop or anything let me play another video so we go back and this is another video that I recorded on my phone now I can't show you any 4K video because most of them are copyrighted but yeah 4K streaming does work and this TV is also HDR compliant that works too and here is another one let's go back alright so let me show you another one a high quality video you can see the sound is working and now let me go ahead and show you some pictures that are there on the PC so for example this one you can see it is working without any problem and you can also uh, do a slideshow so on this LG TV there's a slightly different way to access the music on the network so we need to go to that menu again and scroll to the right and select this music option over here and again select the media server and if you have seen my video properly there were two uh, music files and here we are let's go ahead and play one of them and you can see it is working pretty cool huh it's directly streaming off the computer So here I have my Sony Xperia XZ and as you guys might know this phone is DLNA capable. So let's see whether this phone is able to stream some video off of my computer. Let's launch the video player. Open the side menu and tap on home network over here. And here you can see it sees both of my media servers so we're gonna select the second one tap on video tap on all videos and here you can see the uh, videos which we are sharing on the PC so let me play big bug bunny so here we have some options view on mobile and there you go guys it is working the phone is streaming the video directly off of the PC it is strange because um, sound doesn't seem to work maybe some sort of incompatibility so let me just try another video so I'm not sure why sound is not working in that particular video but in this one it seems to work let's try another video see if sound works sound is working okay, playing a, a music file off of the media server so again home network let's go to music and as you can see the phone is able to play back the music directly from the PC
and this will come in very handy if you don't want to store each and every uh, music file on your phone you can leave it on your PC and stream your music directly from the PC so thank you guys for watching this video and if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section down below